Tech Preview 24.1 release candidate, as well as the Zeus and new MFDs. Really excited stuff. Let's talk. Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. Super, super stoked. Just this morning, CIG announced that they are doing a tech preview today, as well as they're going to release the release candidate for 3.24.1 uh tonight and if all goes well it should go live tomorrow so that's super exciting so now regarding the tech preview they also said that they are currently internally testing the tech preview build uh, and in the next couple hours they will release it to the general public to also test as well that's super exciting i'm glad that uh, uh all is going well in terms of them testing right now Hopefully, we do get our hands on that. So that's going to be super exciting. So what this is going to be about is we're going to be testing a new messaging system that allows the servers to handle a, a lot more network data. So I think it's called RMQ and also server meshing, which is the key point here, which will lead us into the start season alpha 4.0. So they said the goal is to test between 100 players to 1000 player shards. So that's super exciting. If they can get up to 1,000 player shards and it's smooth, oh my goodness, we are set to go. So I do hope this test goes well and uh, I'm super stoked about it. Also this morning, CIG released an Inside Star Citizen episode on um, the Zeus as well as the new MFDs and I am so excited. The Zeus looks awesome, the designs look awesome and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to that video so you can check it out yourself because it's great stuff. Um, some key points about the Zeus is I love the design of them. They look awesome. They're a great stepping stone moving from starter ships and um, I'm, I'm super excited to finally see them in the game. So now they also announced that 3.24.2 will be the, what, the patch that has the Zeus. So which is going to be the very following one after this one so 3.24.1 is going live this week so most likely this 3.24.2 may hit ptu next week maybe evo Cardi or straight to wave one uh, we'll have to see what other additions they have in there what's also coming along with that which they also covered in the inside star citizen was also the updated mfds and they look superb not only mfds um updates um but they also added additional um features like controlling your hud to make things a lot more clearer um features like uh, weapon groups which is a great quality of life updates um i can't wait to actually test these because um it's uh it's looking so good also one of the things that i'm super excited about is the power management mfds which um, is directly connected into the engineering gameplay and it allows you to control pips and and um, different uh, components and allows you to uh, manage your power one of the things that i feel um i just wanted to bring bring out was there's been a, a lot of uh um, back and forth in terms of master modes and i think um people should wait and see what cig implements with the master modes i think this master mode is going to be built around the big ships the capital ships and we're yet to see capital ships combat experience in the pu cig have them internally and i think they're building master modes around the big ships and i think the big ships are going to be the primary combat vessels in star citizen as a whole once this thing is fully released i think that's going to be the highlight and not the fighters so they need to um let them implement what they want to implement because they see certain aspects that we have yet to see they know what they want to achieve with master modes and it's, i feel it's going to be built around the big ships and capital ship combats and managing power managing thrusters managing all those things and you're going to have to make decisions and sacrifices um with those big ships and they don't essentially want every you to always have access to all your systems at the same time you need to make decisions 
to decide between thrusters to decide between shields to decide between um weapons you have to be making decisions um in real time and those decisions have impact so let's wait it out and let's see what they do what they finally implement the big shifts once again you guys let me know your thoughts on everything we just spoke about i'm going to leave the link to the inside star citizen episode make sure you go check it out before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one